Okay, so this um, module was all about assistive technology and like its role in the classroom. Um, so to start off the reflection, the role of assistive technology in the classroom, um, it allows active involvement and assists students in completing tasks. It helps um, a variety of learners and allows students to be successful in ta tasks they otherwise would not be able to perform. Um, how much experience have you had with assistive technology? Um, I haven't had a lot of experience just because my school has always been pretty small. And um, although we can um, accommodate um, those who need assistive technology, we don't have a lot of those um, kids in my town. Um, one thing that does come to mind is that the grade school, um, they have no stairs anywhere. It's all ramps. Um, it's all wheelchair accessible and it's easier for kids um, with crutches and other um, walking disabilities or anything like that. Um, what is the most interesting assistive technology? Um, it says, which one did I find the most interesting? Um, I really liked the Thera Simplicity site. It had several options to customize each activity or worksheet to the person's specific needs, and it allowed easy access for adults to give those, um, those who need the uh, assistive technology, a fun activity. Um, describe three of the six applications of assistive technology and give an example of each that was not referenced in the article. Um, the first one that I'm going to describe is the existence assistive technology. Um, an example of this would be prosthetic limbs such as legs or hands that help with everyday activities like walking, brushing your teeth, and writing. Um, the second one is the communication assistive technology. Um, an example of this would be like alerting devices such as a doorbell, a phone, or an alarm that makes a loud sound or a visual cue, cue to help someone with hearing loss to know what's going on and happening. Um, the third one is the environmental interaction assistive technology. Um, an example of this would be like a foot mouse. So instead of like having a computer mouse that you use with your hand, they can use their foot um, this is for, like, students without the use of their hands or, um, their arms, and this helps students take control and have more independence in certain activities and assignments. Um, find one additional assistive technology that was not listed in the module and provide an overview of what it is, how it works, and where you found it. Um, I discovered this site. It's called techmatrix.org, and I absolutely love it. Um, it allows you to search for content area, which is like the subject, like math, science, reading, writing. Um, it lets you put the subject that in, and then you can search a grade level with it. So like first grade um, math, uh, sixth grade science. And then it lets you put in like the IDEA disability category. So like whether, like if they're deaf or if they're blind or if um, they're on the autism spectrum, um, it like will show you activities. So it, it like get then gives like several different tools and resources that help that specific need at that age level and that subject. Or it leads you to a site that has the resources needed to tailor to that specific person.